Today we're building an old style toolbox for a specific purpose. Stick around, I'll show you how we're going to do it. Most of the time when I build a project, uh, I kind of let it evolve the way it wants to. For instance, like that dry sink, I just I match what's already there. Or if I build one, I got an idea how the, the width and depth and all that. But every once in a while you have a, a project where there's angles involved, Criteria you got to hit. In other words, it needs to be this big, but it can't go over. It, can't, it needs to be this tall, but it can't go over. Then you got specific angles that got to match those dimensions. I will draw it out and make sure to work. And this is the case. I am building a, you see, a meter maintenance box. It fits in a truck, and what happens is. The way this thing's going to be designed, when there's a meter change out or maintenance on a meat water meter, well, you just reach and get this box, and you go and you either going to change it out, work on it, check it, whatever you're doing with it. Everything in this box, you know, you'll have it right there with you, and that's what what this is all about. It's a meter maintenance box to where. You ain't back and forth. And, I mean, you just reach and grab the box, go sit it down and do your thing, pick it up and go back to the, go to the next one. And that is what we're trying to achieve here. But where it sits on the in the truck, it's got a certain area it's got to set with certain angles that we got to have. So and that's the reason why I drew it out to make sure the angles and everything is what we're looking for. So I'm looking at my lumber racks and getting what just what I thought got on hand. And I got a little bit here I could use, but I think I can use what I already got in hand. So what I'm going to do here, I, I'm trying to use what I already got. Pickings are kind of getting slim, but you know it is what it is. But this is going to be wet and all. So what, what we wind up going to do is paint. When it's all said and done, it's gonna, probably going to be painted. That way it can work in the wet conditions. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure. See, this is 7 by 12. Well, that's 9. And 24 gets it. So that, that will catch the sides. And then the ends are 10 inches. It's not 20, so I'm going to have one by 11 22 that dude is dead on it so by the time i take the kerf out i'm gonna be in trouble however i can come here with the 10 and i can go up seven and over then i can come this way yeah then i can get two of this so this will do the two ends. This will do the two sides. I'll probably come off that end. And then the bottom is going to have one of these old-timey tool care chests that people, uh, uh, carpenters had years. I'm talking way back there. A little wooden box and, and, and got a handle. It's kind of going to resemble that. But the, the dimensions is what's important here because it's got to fit in a certain place. So we just need to make sure we don't go over that, but yet we want to be close enough where you can utilize that space. But the bottom, I'll probably, I got a piece of half inch, I'll probably use it and kind of dado it in. All right, the, the sides are, this is what this is going to be. Uh, Pull off this, this right here, split right there, so we can start right here. This, uh, okay, if we start right there, we can go, it's overcut it right now. 
There's 13. That'd give me some room to play with. So if I went right here and cut 13, so that so that'll be out, and this will be out. And I'm gonna cut right there. This will be out. So I'm cutting in between here and here and here and here, and it's 13. So that give me room to get it squared up. up with seven inches wide 12 inches long okay so I got the ends laid out with the angles so right there it's going to be a hole and then it's going to be a two inch hole here for his, one of his tools this is the other one so what I'm thinking about doing now I'll need to come in between this. I, well, no. I'll double check my measurements, but I'll just cut this 10 inches wide. And then I'll cut that 10 inches wide. Then that figures a 51 degrees with that measurements. So let's see if we can cut it out and make a matching. So I've got my, my fence set on 10 inches. These things are 10 inches wide. I'm gonna cut this one first, then I'll come back and cut this one, and then we'll see how it's, mm, we'll have to cut these angles right here. We'll see how we're gonna do that. So get your hearing protection on, and we are going to cut these. What I am thinking about doing is doing a little redesign. Instead of coming to a point, I'm just going to, instead of 51 degrees, I'm going to drop back at 45. And I have a little flat area here. So when we put that handle through there, it'll have a little more meat up here. So that's, and it still stay within its 11 inches. So I'm going to try that. If it don't look right or work right, I can always come back and get to 51. Well, I kind of got the cart full of the horse. Had so much headroom, I probably wouldn't fit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. This is 11. I'm going to cut both of them to 11. I use my miter sock slot extension right there. You get down here real close like when you come off, it just gives you a little bit extra support. And what I use is my miter set to put my miter gauge dead on a 45, and then when you use a stop block, you can flip it over, you go to the next one, and this is what you wind up with. It is exactly the same size. Look at that. Stop blocks. That's uh, 
Slot box is your friend. The box is sh taking shape now. Uh, I did overall measurements, so what I'm thinking about doing is, is if I do box joints here and then all the way around, and now it'll make the dimensions come out right. So what I thought about, we'll just do box joints, and I think it'll make it more durable. And I, I'm proud I did this. That point was going to be a problem, I think. So I went ahead and, and got that flat area and got 45s. Looks more symmetrical now anyway. Then I put the handle in, and right here it's got a, a two-inch hole for a tool he's got that goes all the way through there. So I've got my sled out. I'm going to cut quarter-inch data uh, finger joints, box joints. Got him set up right here. Uh, I like leaving him the box in the orientation that it's going to be, and, and I look and see what joint I need to work on. So I think I got it set. So let's just get your hearing protection on and let's move forward. So the fit can you see that or not? So I like to leave them a little bit proud and it's sand down what uh you know sand it it's easier to sand these end of these things down than it is, to, we've got them low. But the way I do it, when I start right here, so I rest her off the bottom. Because the top's gonna be, so, so I've got a flat surface rester off the bottom. So when I start right there, and then when I end, I come back to the beginning, flip it over, set it right there, come off to the same point that the box is going to be, bring it in, and butt it right up against it. Now it'll make a match. So that's, that's how I cut them. And they seem to do fine. But I got a little piece of debris right there. Got to make sure that sucker's cleaned off. So the bottom, the bottom corners it's got to match up. So now you can glue that. It'll help hold itself at a 90. And there's a lot of glue surface right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the others. And then uh, before I glue it up, what we'll wind up doing, I'll get me some half inch. And what I'll wind up doing then... I probably, with that blade, quarter inch dado, I'll, I'll run me a dado all the way around it. Uh, I may do it on the, the, on the router table because what happens, see, see this wouldn't be a problem, but th 
that they'll run outside, but if I did on router table, I could set it down and not have it run all the way through with table saw to run all the way through. I'll, I'll show it to you when we get there, but I always like the looks of box joints. I think it looks pretty cool. I've got the uh, box joints, finger joints. I got them cut, and I've got it laid out here. The inside of the box is down. I did a little measuring. No one can get me a scrap piece. <clears throat> this is off cut. I don't ever throw any of the off cuts away until the project's over, because you don't never know. You know this. You know this is the same thickness. It's an off cut. So, because I set my router table up to cut the grooves, and I'm just going to start about halfway down one of these fingers, go to the other finger. So, let's go to the router table and. See if we can. We're going to cut the, the sides first. Side pieces. This is the bottom. This is the inside. So the groove will go right through there. But I don't want it to come all the way out. That's the reason why I'm using the router table. Otherwise, the, the table saw would have been... Because I still got the dado stack in it. However, I set up stop blocks to where it's halfway in on each of the fingers and won't go all the way through. Now, if I'm lucky enough to put this down on it and slide to the other side, not break these fingers, that's one advantage to have bigger fingers. Uh, joints, box joints, fingers. But anyway, that's what I'm going to attempt right now. So let's get our hearing protection on and get started. See, it wind up breaking part of that one off. But I think we'll be all right. That nurse, okay. But it's a try. I can cut me off a plug and stick in it and stop that up. But uh, what I was trying to do is trying to, well, this, this one right here, well, a little bit it come off, so I, I don't know. Plywood in this account makes it kind of tough, but you can just do what you can do. <laughs> Well. Okay, let's just do the other one. Well, that one didn't break off, so that's one. That one broke off, so that's fifty percent. That one broke off. <laughs> All right, this one didn't. So half of them didn't. So uh, ha yeah, it's worth it. No longer it took to get it set up. You see, the way the things work right here, the groove will be right between the two. So the, the end, the end pieces. And it's not going to be a problem, so we'll do them now. So we got the groove cut on the inside. Uh, of the box this is the bottom of the box what I need to do is cut a rabbit that will just fit into this uh, groove here and we'll have it
Now that we got the bottom cut, let's see if we can't uh, check the fit. See if we're going to be able to get it together. So, let's just see how square everything, okay. Wow. How about that? All right, now, before we glue it together, you can see, before we glue it together, we'll, uh, we'll tell you, we'll stack these together and drill our holes and decide how we're going to do the handle and so forth and so on. I know we gotta have a two inch hole here. He wants that for a cutoff thing. They, he'll thread through it and then go to the meter. Okay, I found another off cut uh, to this process so they would have matched. Inch and a half, of course it's three quarter, or actually technically just like a 30 second under. And I've got, right now I'm at 12 inches. We'll probably have to trim a little of that off, but we'll leave it a little proud and sand it down flush. So what we want to try to do is use this one. See, these things are just alike. Uh, we want to want to make sure they okay. Yeah, they're just alike, so what, what I want to do here, we will we'll find center of this span, which should be right there, but so the center of that span, okay. right to that center so let's see let's go three quarters of an inch down then we'll start okay I'm lining up on the center of that See, it's got one, two, three, four, five. I'm right in the middle of that center layer. It'll hold better if it goes through the handle instead of attaching to it. And we're not relying on any mechanical device, just the hole itself will hold it. So we want a, a, a kind of a tight fit right there. And in the center, in other words, you, you have these up here like this. It'll go through, but in the center, I'll do a round over where it'd be pleasant to the, to the grip. So what I can do, I can put these together and do them all at the same time. Um... Yeah, they you got a meat just like it right there. So I'm, let me attach these together. I may. What I might do? Let me get some tape. I may. I, I don't know if I use double-sided tape or not. But what I could do is put some blue tape there and the CA glue. Uh, Y'all know that trick. As I thought, I did not have any double-sided tape. However, we have another way to skin this cat. So what we're going to do, we'll probably... Okay. 
try to use wide tape. Let's see if we can't. Make sure it holds. We don't need it moving and all that kind of stuff. There we go. So we will need to do the same thing over here. All right, uh, let's see. Activator for one side, glue for the, we'll make two runs right there. Should be all right. Perhaps make three. No, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Got to meet one another, that is the... Yep, we're okay. <clears throat> yep. I'll tell you what, let me put a couple of clamps on, just let them sit there a minute. We don't want that thing moving, do we? What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to probably drill some holes. So what I've got is I've got it marked off. I'm going to just use this Forstner bit to take the... Uh, the bulk of it out, and then I'm going to take a chisel and go around it and see, just see how tight a fit I can get. I got the bulk of it out. I think I can get the rest of that with a chisel. All right, I got it marked off with my knife line. I'm just going to drill, got the bulk of it out, and I'm just going to take the chisel here and just work my way on through. That chisel, you just you can feel it when it goes in that knife line. Right now, I just want to do a light and just just get that knife line a little a little bigger, a little pronounced. 
kind of like for it to match that uh, handle pretty good. I've got so many lines on there, it's hard to tell where I'm at. Should be able to feel that. There it went. I do it this angle, that way I can keep it straight up. Once I get that knife line pronounced, it shouldn't be a problem. I like to keep it on this board here and keep that chisel off my bench. So I get going that knife line. I may have to check my blades on my marking knife, marking gauge. I think I got it where I can carry on now. Missed the hole with that drill bit, didn't I? Let's get on to going on to town here. Guess I guess I could have took a router bit, but what'd be fun in that? More noise. I'd be for the noise. Would you? I don't want the patience you have. Here in a minute, we'll be able to weld a tire out of it. Do what? Here in a minute, be able to just weld a tire out of it. And kind of taking it easy, protecting that knife line. Still trying to see what you said. To weld the tire? Weld the tire. Wham! Just hit it hard. Weld the tire out of it. Never heard that expression? Uh -oh. Well. Plywood, it's a little harder to do. You can kind of predict the way the grain on the solid wood, you can kind of predict what's going to happen. But plywood, you don't know which way it's running, it's running all kinds of different ways. See how close that's going to fit. Whoa, yeah. That's going to fit real nice. Now, if I don't do something stupid on my way down, it'll be fine.
Well, Summer's not wanting to let up. It's hot out there. Hey, the not causing much rain, are they? Maybe a tropical storm give us some. If not, well, they they've been missing us. Oh. Hold it up so I can see it. Kind of looks rough right now, but it's you actually well. It <laughs> actually it's going on pretty good, actually. So let's but let's go ahead and work on this side a while. You want to? A bigger waste board. Let's get some of this big out. Got a whale on it. Whale on it, right. Whale on it with a whaling hammer. Yeah, act like you're mad at it. <laughs> well, if you act like you're mad at it, you'll screw up, and then you will be mad. <laughs> <laughs> this is controlled chaos. Controlled chaos. Looks therapeutic. No. The hand plane pulling off uh, thin shavings, that, that can get kind of therapeutic. You've been wailing with it, I can tell. Yeah, I, we need to get some of that cactus juice and uh, and stabilize, turn another and stabilize it. Well, shouldn't this have been stabilized? Have you been in here forever? No, stabilize where you put it in a vacuum chamber, cook it in the oven, makes it so hard it's, it's like uh, hitting it with stone. You know, we talked about it before. Thought we was doing that with the resin. Huh. Had nothing to do with resin. Wasn't we stabilizing the wood to go in the resin? No. No, we bought it that way. We've never run no cactus juice. I know we talked about it. Though. We had talked about it. We sure did. About time to separate them. Yeah, 
that's going to be fine. Let me see now. Hold it up. Almost just a couple little things. It's coming. I better separate before we get too far. Oh, wow. I wasn't here for that part. That's pretty cool. I was thinking, man, he's got to do this on another one. No, that's the beauty part. I'm getting both at the same time. I'm afraid I'm going to get out of line, but be careful. All right, now, let's see what we got. Yeah, it kind of chipped out right there. Tag gummy. Well, one wouldn't got me a, a bigger board, made a little easier. I think I about got it here. Yeah, maybe not. It'll almost go through there. A little bit right there and a little bit right there, and I'll have it.
I got feel it. Yeah, a little bit right there it is. I found the cover right there. Right. Yep. Oh yeah, got her now. All right, let's see what we got. So we got her. Okay, now if you remember, he he wanted a two-inch hole. Right along here, I got me, yeah. And what it is, he want enough room to put his hand around it. He's got something he puts through there, a tool. So what we'll do, we will, uh, we will drill that now. Okay, we're gonna put this two inch hole, we just, that's about what we talked about. I'm trying to keep enough room for his hand right here and enough meat up here where it won't break out. So. Side's gonna look at it in that way that, that his tool can go right through there and it'd be set on both sides. I think I got it set up. I did a run through. I recommend running through it because, uh, you know, once the glue hits, you kind of need to go. Uh, so I think I got my procedure down. So uh, here we go. We just just start throwing the glue to it. You couldn't go over there and get me a paper towel now, could you? This is worst part about box joints. It is the glue up is pretty tough. Hey, let's see. We got a drip there. Boy, I really practiced it good, didn't I? See, it gets in there and what happens is it swells wood up. See here, here. We'll glue this in on this one. There ain't no way, good way to do that. Not that I found. You just get in there and fight it. Fight? Well, you just use. It's very. Um, woodworking is very. What's the word? I don't know what you. I don't. I don't know, baby. All right, that went. 
I normally don't glue this part in. It, it can't get out no way. Once it's there, it's there. Yeah. That way, have a little bit of moving around, if you know what I mean. So, this right here, what we need to do. Oh, I believe I got the glue through there, don't you? All right, now I got to glue this. So let me glue this. This is the handle. We don't want it to be moving around. All right. Now, it's actually going pretty good. Well, one thing I like about this glue, it can stand some moisture and it's got a bigger open time. Some glues, you ain't got time to do all this. You got, it, it sets up real quick. This one's got a lot more overtime, but I, the reason why I use it is because it can stand some moisture. Like this, is, this, this thing here gonna be outside. Let's see. Okay. Now, watch me put it in upside down. Well, why? There it went. There it goes. All right, here we go. Let's see. I believe it went. Then it wasn't a closed up. But if that, uh, yeah, I think we're okay. Kind of looks like a, like a box, don't it? here Let's get down to this. Oh, it's going to be nice. Yes, you need to squeeze out a little bit. That is the idea. That is the idea. Well, I believe we got her. We'll let that dude set up all, morning, all night. We'll address this thing in the morning.
Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the shop. We've let this thing see. This is the next day. We've let this thing stay in the clamps overnight. Uh, so uh, we're going to unclamp this thing and see what we got left to do. I'm, I'm looking at sanding these things down and doing the round over for it be nice on his hand. So this has kind of been a fun project. What I'd like to do is uh i always thought i'd i like these styles of boxes this is the size he needs to make it fit in his truck and all so uh so that's what we did it is for pacific purpose i hope everything goes well and and, and all but But I always thought about making one of these. I've seen them with, uh, well, I've seen them longer. I was thinking, what? Well, yeah, two foot. And I've seen them with trays that sit down in, little short trays, and you got your big tools on the bottom. I've even seen them with drawers on the bottom. Uh, but the whole purpose of one like this is to be portable. Uh, a lot of times in factories and different stuff, the maintenance people would have all their stuff in these, and they'd walk from one location to another taking care of problems as they got called in, if you know what I mean. So, but I always thought it intrigued me, because I could be like a, you know, like a tool man tailor tool time I think a lot of my tools and I try to take care of them so they will last but uh, yeah I think I got yeah you know, what we're looking at here is uh, I, I'll get on a belt sander and I'll sand these down flat I'll, once I get everything sand down flat, I'll do a round over around the holes here, round over that way. Should have rounded this. See, I, I did think I had enough to catch this, but it feels good. Round over both of these. That way, it get rid of that. I'll figure something out. I can get in there close, maybe. And I, I'll figure something out, but we'll get that thing where it won't be abrasive on the bottom. I went ahead and, and calculate that thing being flat. If you remember uh, the, the pieces that broke off just haven't been on the same side. But to fix that, <clears throat> where you did your practicing and whatnot, you can use that. So what I've got here is two, two pieces. Now I can drive that in there and then sand it, glue it in there and then sand it down. And you'll never know they were missing. But you glue it real good.
that's what you want it to do is bottom out like that one did. You got it glued in there good. We'll, uh, we'll let that set up for a bit. We'll come back and we just sand it right down flush. But I was looking at my meter maintenance box, you know, like that, because I was using what I had. So, uh, not right there, and there's a couple of places that's, you know, it's plywood. What I'm going to do, because it is going to be in some moisture, a uh, little bitty spot right there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and fix, fix up some of that epoxy at five minute epoxy and i'll fix in places right there and that way we do uh paint it these little spots that could get moisture uh it will uh yeah yeah we'll, we'll fix it where it lasts for him so that's got that i'm gonna get the epoxy we'll get that going here in a second let me find it on where it went I found the epoxy. I'm gonna get me a cup, a pair of gloves on. Safety first. What do you think? So I'll look at my gloves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix up a dab. If I have to mix up some more, it doesn't take long. I'll mix up another dab. So this is what we're gonna do. Like I say, we just have to go through there. It's not that many, but we're, we're going to go ahead and take care of them. Okay, the five-minute epoxy. I use this right here. Uh, had good luck with it so far. I mean, I had... Well, come on. There we go. We'll just, we will just get as much of that covered up as we can. Okay, I got one right here. Kind of like packing a wheelburn. Get as much of that shoved down there as you can. That is thirsty right there. Yeah. Don't fill her up. Okay. There's one right there. You go looking for them everywhere. Okay. Where is it? Yes, I think I'm going to get them all one. What I like to do, I like to take, take my stick and put in it. And what happened there is, at one time I had it that never would set up for I don't know what the reason. Probably operator error. but I, So I got in the habit of putting my stick in there. Now, whenever it, I can test how well it done. Most of the time I break the stick, it won't come out of it. I know it's set up. 
So we'll let that set up. And then we will uh, go from there. The last footage I can find is putting epoxy on this thing. Well, if you can see, I had some paint left over from a project. Still got a little bit here. But anyway, I got the, uh, the uh, meter maintenance box. That should be done. May put a little bit more on the inside. That wall right there kind of got missed a little bit. But anyway, <clears throat> hope y'all enjoyed this little old build. We just had some stuff that was left over. Uh, hardly got anything in it. A little time. Uh, but wound up going. It's made out of three quarters. The dang box is heavy by itself. But we kind of want it to last. So I think it will. Uh, but I think that's going to do it on this little old project. And uh, if, uh, if you don't care, like and subscribe to me. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. So that's going to do it on this one. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day. Be safe, and I will catch y'all in the next one.